Well, thank you very much, Scott. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks, Dan. Bonsoir tout le monde. What an incredible three years. I have been so honored to serve as leader of the Conservative Party of Canada and as leader of the official opposition in the House of Commons, leading our amazing team. Je suis très honoré d'avoir été chef du parti et de l'opposition officielle à la Chambre des communes et diriger notre excellente équipe. Looking back on where we started in 2017 and all that we have accomplished together, I am struck by the determination, strength, and resilience of our party. In 2017, no one thought we could win the next election. The media establishment was predicting that Justin Trudeau would easily win two or maybe even three majority governments. He would be prime minister for as long as he wanted. But we rolled up our sleeves and reminded voters that Conservatives are the only party fighting for hardworking Canadians. The fact that anyone even considered the 2019 election winnable is because of the incredible success of our entire team. And while we didn't get the result we all would have liked, we did reduce the Trudeau government to a minority and formed the strongest opposition in Canadian history. There are so many people I would like to thank. First off, my House leadership, and Shadow Cabinet and caucus teams. Merci pour vos conseils et votre soutien pendant mon mandat. One of the most frustrating parts of not forming government is stopping to think about what a great group of ministers we would have had if we had won. I know that Canadians would have been far better served during this pandemic had there been a Conservative government in power. And I look forward to the many great things that our next Conservative team will accomplish. J'aimerais aussi remercier Joan Bayliss, Hamish Marshall, Kenzie Potter, Marc-André Leclerc, et toute l'équipe qui m'ont encouragé à me présenter comme chef et qui sont restés à mes côtés. Ça a parfois été difficile, mais je ne peux pas imaginer un meilleur groupe de personnes pour le faire. To the Office of the Leader of the Opposition and Party Headquarter teams, thank you for all your hard work over the past three years and throughout this leadership race. I know that the new leader will be in good hands with all of you. I'd also like to thank our entire Conservative Caucus, National Council, Party President Scott Lamb, and all of our thousands and thousands of party members and volunteers. Each of you contribute so much to our movement and are vital to our success. But most of all, I would like to thank my incredible wife, Jill, for her love and support, without which none of this would have been possible. Jill, I love you so much. Thank you for all the sacrifice that you and the kids made over the past few years. I can honestly say that I have never been prouder to be a Conservative or to be a Canadian. La pandémie nous a mis au défi, mais elle a aussi montré le meilleur côté des Canadiens partout au pays. Les voisins cédant les unes et les autres, les entreprises trouvant des façons innovatrices de servir leurs clients, et les proches se réunissant pour célébrer des moments importants, même de façon virtuelle. Pendant cette épreuve, notre équipe conservatrice s'est concentrée sur l'aide aux Canadiens. We have improved the government's response to the pandemic and have never backed down in our fight to keep our parliament open during this crisis. As we look forward to the recovery, Canadians will be faced with a fundamental choice. You see, the left is offering the same failed policies that they always do. Bigger government, more government intervention, and less individual freedom. Mais un gouvernement plus gros et plus omniprésent nuit aux gens. The lie of the left is that the very people they claim they want to help are hurt the most by their policies. They pretend to be motivated by compassion, but there's nothing compassionate about big government intervention. Ever increasing intervention in the marketplace rewards big corporations who can afford expensive government relations experts.
New rules and laws make labor costs so expensive that low-income workers and new entrants into the workforce lose their jobs first. And little by little, fundamental rights and freedoms are eroded. In the 1980s, the Soviet bloc and Eastern European countries all had the same rhetoric. Their policies were supposed to help the poor and promote equality. The exact same rhetoric that the left is using today. But all it caused was misery. Le défi pour les conservateurs aujourd'hui est que beaucoup de gens ne comprennent pas l'économie de libre marché, la liberté individuelle, un gouvernement limité et plus de choix individuels. Today's voters didn't grow up. Many of today's voters didn't grow up watching the wall come down or looking at the bread lines in East Berlin. So we, as a party, need to constantly be looking for new ways to make the case for the core conservative principles we all believe in. Freedom, limited government, and unlimited potential. Our values and ideals have stood the test of time. For generations, they have guided Canadians through adversity, and they will once again. See, the Liberals are all candy before supper. They make superficial promises and hope you don't blame them for the consequences. Then, all you're left with is a stomach ache and a serious case of buyer's remorse. Conservatives, on the other hand, we believe in a balanced meal. We look at the whole picture, and we see, we see the harm and the misery that the policies of the left cause. The Liberals put all their faith in government. They believe that bigger government and more state intervention will somehow solve all of the world's problems. Conservatives fight for those who don't have powerful lobbyists getting insider deals. We fight for the men and women who don't have well-connected friends in Ottawa, who are too busy raising their families and working hard to attend the cocktail circuit. We are your voice. But the biggest risk to freedom and liberty is when people empower government to do more and more for them. It may be tempting to use the government to address the challenges society often faces, but once invited inside, the government is a terrible house guest. It may feel good to vote in a party that is going to overstep the limits of government in order to do something you agree with. However, that invitation is quickly used to justify all sorts of actions you might never have considered. It is far better to keep government within strictly defined limits and leave the rest of society to fulfill its proper role. That is why conservatives put their faith in people. We know that there is more to society than just government and that free people within a free market, working hard and enjoying the fruits of their labor, free to express themselves and live their lives the way they want. That is the recipe for success every single place it's been tried. When given a choice between societies where governments control more and more of their citizens' lives and those where freedom and opportunity are protected, people will always choose freedom. After all, no one ever got shot trying to jump the wall to get into East Berlin or paddle the raft to get to Cuba. We don't even have to go back into the past to see these examples. We just need to look at the mess happening right now in Venezuela and all the tragedy that it is causing. Vous savez, c'est au conservateur de transmettre ce message. Pour nous, une élection garantie n'existe pas. At a time when the establishment elites are doing everything they can to defeat us, at a time when dozens of groups like Lead Now and Unifor pay millions of dollars to run ads against us and bash our policies, at a time when the mainstream media bias in this country has never been more clear. In times like this, it is up to the Conservative Party to unite Canadians instead of allowing the left to divide Canadians. At a time when our kids, when young people, have never been taught the value of those free market principles, where they've actually been taught that there's something wrong with free markets and individual liberty. In times like these, it is even more important for every single conservative to stay united and do everything you can to work together to spread our message of hope. So it doesn't matter what kind of conservative you are, 
Our party needs all of you. And we need you to go out and find more people who share our beliefs. Please stay involved, be bold, think, challenge the mainstream media. Don't take their narrative as fact. Check out smart, independent, objective organizations that are growing all the time, like the Post Millennial or True North. There are other places to get information. Let's stop being the silent majority. Don't be afraid to challenge leftist professors or public figures. Millions of Canadians share our conservative values. They just don't all know it yet. Now, I know that we can win the next election. Quand je suis devenu chef du parti en 2017, nous avions 99 sièges. Today, I am leaving the next leader with 121 amazing MPs from coast to coast. In 2015, we won around 31% of the vote. In 2019, we won 34.4%, won the popular vote, and form the strongest opposition in Canadian history. I'm also proud to say tonight that the party, the Conservative Party of Canada, is officially debt free. We are in an excellent position, but we cannot be complacent. Our party's unity has been tested in the past and media love nothing more than writing about disgruntled Conservatives. So we cannot give them that opportunity. For the last few months, the different candidates and their supporters have been highlighting the differences between them. After tonight, let's all come together and focus on the things that unite us. We must stay squarely concentrated on working together and focusing on the many things we share in common. Les différences entre les libéraux et les conservateurs n'ont jamais été plus claires. Ils utilisent une crise pour récompenser leurs amis. Nous nous concentrons sur l'aide aux Canadiens qui travaillent fort. Where they will use the pandemic as an excuse to reward their friends, conservatives will clean up their corruption. Where they will play the politics of envy, we will spread a message of hope and opportunity. <clears throat> Where they will attack our energy sector, we will champion it and celebrate the prosperity it creates for all Canadians where they will demonize people for having different views on issues facing Canadians, we will not attack people for their deeply held positions, but instead look to find the common ground. Alors qu'ils vont diriger une fédération centrée sur Ottawa, nous allons respecter les compétences provinciales et la nation québécoise. And when they let Canadians down, as they always do, we will be ready to offer them a conservative government that puts people first. And after tonight, let's all rally behind the new leader and do everything we can to make sure that the next leader of the Conservative Party becomes the next Prime Minister of this great country. Serving in this role has been the greatest honour of my professional life. I want to thank all the members, all the volunteers, the member of our fantastic team so much. This has been such an honour. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for all the support that you've given to me and my family, and we will get them in the next election. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup.